Welcome to the point system update in SideStream now, in collaboration with Nowfinity. In this update, a new tool has been added to the dashboard which will allow you to further increase engagement and reward your most loyal and dedicated supporters. The system allows your viewers to collect points. These are collected by watching, sharing and supporting the broadcast and can be spent on a multitude of different rewards. These rewards could include animations, audio, videos or unique real life gifts. It is completely up to you how you would like your viewers to benefit. The following tutorial will take you through the setup process for this new system and how you can integrate it into your stream and OBS. Firstly, let's start with the setup. After adding this new tool and placing it in the desired location on your dashboard, simply click on Open Configuration and the Settings area will open. After loading all the modules within, you'll be greeted by the Welcome page. This is a simple overview of the point system, but because we've already went through that, you can proceed to the setup area on the left hand side. Once selected, you'll find the settings required to begin the process of creating your own point system. Starting from the top, we have the name of your currency. This will be what your viewers refer to your points as. This could include your name, an existing currency, or anything really, it's completely up to you. Moving on, we have the three main ways on how your viewers can accumulate points. The first is the number of points they'll receive per bar that they spend. Second is how many points the user will receive every minute that they're in chat. For this, typing is required for the points to go through, so they won't be able to just lurk. And thirdly is the points given for each share of the broadcast, allowed once per stream. After configuring these four simple settings, we can move on further down the page. Here you can find a multiplier for subscribers. This will increase the points that subscribers can receive by a certain percentage. For example, in my system, a non-subscriber receives 5 points for sharing the broadcast, whilst a subscriber receives 20% more, meaning 6 points are given. The last setting on this page is Level Settings. This allows you to customise the number of points required for a viewer to progress to the next level. This level is an indication of how dedicated and loyal the viewer is and will not go down when they spend your currency, so they don't have to worry about that. Simply select the starting number of points required for the first level and then a multiplier so each level increases the number of points required exponentially. For this example, I have my multiplier set to 1.1, so each level will require an additional 10% more points. This can be seen in the drop down box. Before continuing down to OBS overlays in the left hand menu, I would like to first configure the remaining two basic ways in which your audience can receive more of your currency. These are Wheel of Fortune and Coin Drop. Let's first go to Coin Drop. Coin Drop is a game that displays a certain number of coins on your stream that can be collected by your viewers. These can be collected with the command exclamation mark get, and once collected, they reward the viewer with points. Before we start implementing it into OBS though and allowing people to actually see it, let's first configure the settings. Firstly, we have command to collect. This is the command that you would like your audience to type in chat to receive the coin. Moving down, value of the coin is how many points you'd like each coin to be worth. Amount of coins is how many coins should be displayed on stream at once. Timeout is how long each coin should remain on screen before disappearing and the checkbox allows the user to collect only one coin so one person doesn't just steal all of them by spamming. To activate the game, simply press go and the coins will start to drop. This process can be automated with the remaining settings below. Next, let's go to the last game currently available, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is the last of two games currently implemented in the new point system update. When a viewer has the right number of points, they can activate this game and gamble the points that they currently have in hope that they receive more. This is in a simple spin wheel format that can be shown on your stream. To understand the settings provided, you must first understand how the wheel operates. The default wheel has 24 sections. Two of these are rivets, meaning the user wins nothing. 21 of these are values in between one and a number that you set and the remaining one is for the jackpot. Currently ignoring the beginning two settings, cost per spin is how much each spin should cost to the user. 
Maximum normal win is the maximum value you want the main 21 sections to reach between 1 and that number. Main win is the jackpot prize and waiting time is how long the viewer must wait in between each spin just so they don't spam it or possibly win too much. Moving further down we have advanced settings. Enabling custom fields allows you to make the wheel completely unique to your own taste. Customise all 24 sections with values, colours or an action that displays on win. These actions will be explained shortly. The other advanced setting allows you to give the chat complete control over how much they wish to gamble. If they increase how much they want to spend, the value of rewards will increase by the same ratio. Back up to the top two settings. The command to trigger wheel is what you would like the user to type into the chat to activate the game. This by default is set to exclamation mark spin. The second setting is where we'll explain actions and in turn events. Actions and events is where you can determine what your viewers can spend their points on or additionally how they can receive or lose more points for other things. Staying on the Wheel of Fortune menu, simply click Change on Action for Main Win and we can add our first action. Simply press Create New Action and customise what you would like to happen. For this example, we want an action that shows up when a user wins the jackpot on the wheel. I'm going to name this accordingly. I'll make it Play an Animation and I'll choose something that looks appropriate for winning a jackpot. Next, I'll determine how long I want this to play for and whether I want this action to add or remove points from the user. Because they are already winning points in the jackpot, I'm going to leave this part blank. Finally, if your action has a sound in it, like a video, you can set the volume here and then determine which overlay screen you'd like it to display on. These screens will be explained later, but for now, let's set it as screen one. Now that we've done that, we've created our first action. You can create as many actions as you want to reward the viewer with more points or remove points to show an animation or video. It is completely bound to your creativity. These actions are triggered by events. In this example, the event is the Wheel of Fortune and the user getting the jackpot. But now that we've fully configured the wheel, we can show you what other events you can create. Let's head over to the Action and Events menu. At the top of this area, you'll see all the actions that you've created and the possibility to test them delete them, edit them, or create more. Underneath is where you create more events. These are situations that will trigger your actions. Let's create one now as an example. Simply press create new event and we can get started. Firstly, you should determine who is allowed to trigger this event, whether that be everyone, subscribers only, or a specific user. Next is what the event will be. It could be when someone invites their fans, puts in a specific command, sends a gift of at least a certain number of bars, or sends a specific gift. For this example, let's make this event happen when a subscriber comments in my chat, exclamation mark explosion. Next, let's select the action we'd like to happen when this event occurs, and luckily we've already prepared one ready. Now. Whenever a subscriber comments exclamation mark explosion, this wonderful animation will appear and it will cost the viewer 50 points. The actions and events are super customizable, so experiment and see what you can come up with to best engage your stream. One of the last major things we must do now is integrate all the work we've done so far into OBS so that our audience can actually see it. For this, navigate to the menu on the left and select the OBS Overlays area. Here, you'll be able to see what each overlay looks like and change the settings within. These settings can change the colours of text, or possibly add a background shadow if you'd like. You can test each overlay whilst inside the settings to adjust until it's perfect. The overlays currently available are Points animation. This is a dynamic showing of when a viewer gains or loses points. User info screen, where a user typing exclamation mark score in chat can see how many points they have and which level and rank they are. Command info screen. 
The text area for where viewers can type exclamation mark help to see possible commands, or get more information on the commands they wish to enter. My actions. The five different screens we glossed over when creating actions. This allows you to separate different actions and what they do into different areas so you can scale and move them around individually. More on that later. Wheel of Fortune. The actual wheel and how it looks from the settings we changed earlier. Ranking List. A ranking table of all users and the amount of points they have. As you can see in this example, some users have a higher rank but are lower level. This is because those below have spent the points but kept the level. And finally, we have Coin Drop. The area for where the coins will drop and a demonstration on how it will look when they're collected. Now that we've discussed what each overlay does and how you can change them in settings, let's integrate them into OBS. For this example, I'll be using a brand new set of scenes in OBS, but you could be adding this to your current setup. Firstly, to add one of the overlays, simply right click on your sources and add a new browser source. This can also be done by pressing the plus button at the bottom as well. Name your browser source something relevant to the overlay that you wish to add. I will be adding the points animation overlay in this example, so I'll be calling it as such. Once added, you'll be able to edit the settings as shown. The main thing you must do to add any of the overlays is go back to Stream Now and copy the URL for the overlay you wish to add. This can be done by pressing copy URL or by simply selecting and copying the link directly. Once copied, go back into OBS and change the default URL to the URL you copied. Next is to change the resolution, width and height to your canvas resolution in OBS. This should be in the ratio 16 by nine. For example, 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720, etc. If you don't know this, just change the width to 1280 and height to 720. The last option you can look at is control audio via OBS. This will allow you to adjust the volume of the overlay within OBS to make it the perfect volume. Because this overlay doesn't have audio, however, I'm going to leave this unchecked. After you've done all of that, press OK. You've now added the overlay to OBS. As you can see, we can't see anything right now, but that's because the overlay is dynamic to when a viewer gains or loses points. If we head back over to stream now and press test on the overlay, you'll see that it shows up in OBS, which means that everything is working. Now that you know the basics, you can apply this to the rest of the overlays for the ones you wish to add. Just remember to keep that 16 by 9 ratio and resolution. If you wish to make an overlay bigger because it looks too small, just adjust the resolution down whilst keeping the 16 by 9 ratio and expand to fit the screen. If you can't convert this in your head, you can head over to this website to help you, the link for which will be in the description. And that's basically it. You've got a fully functioning and custom built point system integrated into your YouNow stream. There's a few more areas in stream now that we haven't discussed, but we can just go over them quickly now. Chat commands is the area where you can change which commands are allowed to be typed and what the user must type to activate it. Chatbot is where you can change what the command info screen overlay will say for each command entered in the chat. User and points is a collection of all the users that have gained some of your currency, their level, first activity on stream, and last activity. Transactions keeps track of every time someone gains or loses points. These transactions can be deleted by you if you'd like, or you can manually add a transaction for an event that can't be tracked. For example, a guesting session could cost 100 points. This manual transaction can either be counted towards their level or not. The last two areas include Challenge. This is a feature that allows you to temporarily set all points back to zero. This is great for if you want to do a drinking stream and want your chat exchanging points to get you to drink, but you don't want them storing them up from previous broadcasts to use all in one go. Once the challenge is ended, you can decide to go back to how many points were before the challenge, therefore eliminating all the points procured during the challenge, or add them onto the total. Finally, the last area is halving. 
This allows you to cut everyone's total points by a certain percentage. This is useful for if you have too much inflation on your currency and want to put things back to a lower amount. You could also set this to 100% if you want to completely eliminate everyone's points, but beware that this can't be reversed. And that really is it! That's the entire update explained to you entirely. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I hope it explained everything that you need to know. Remember that the system is completely customizable, so change things to however you desire. Share your interesting actions and events over on our Discord, and let us know if you have any more questions or feedback on how we can improve. Thank you so much for watching.